Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today, we're proud to announce that LaunchBox 11.9 has been released, and with all new LaunchBox and Big Box releases, we have some improvements, some fixes, and some new features. And in this video, we're gonna go over some of the more notable improvements and fixes, and we're also gonna go over all the new features because there's some really good stuff here. Now, if you're interested in checking out the full change log, link for that will be in the description, but let's go ahead and jump right into it. First on the list has to do with the cleanup media tool. In the last couple releases, the media tool is not always working correctly when the file name had special characters in them. Now this didn't happen all the time, it was kind of few and far in between, but there were certain games with special characters that the cleanup tool just wouldn't get out of the way, but this has totally been fixed with LaunchBox 11.9. Next on the list, this one was a little odd, but we did have some users experience this issue. When resetting the mouse on a badge image in LaunchBox, it was getting in the way of scrolling with a mouse wheel. It was kind of weird because when your mouse was hovered over one of the badge images, you just couldn't scroll. But this has also been fixed with 11.9. So as you can see, we do have some more fixes that we're not going to be going over in this video. If you're interested in checking this out, link to the changelog is in the description. Now I want to jump up to the new improvements. First up, all the import processes have been overhauled with an improved user interface inside of LaunchBox, so it does make it a little easier and quicker to get through. Another improvement that's been implemented is when changing a platform's name, any emulators associated with that platform will now follow along with that. In the past, when you changed the platform name, you also had to go through and change the emulator's name. So let's just say you had PlayStation 1 spelled out PlayStation 1, but you wanted to change that platform over to PS1. You'd also have to follow suit and change that emulator name. But now with this new improvement in LaunchBox 11.9, all you need to do is change that platform name and it's going to make life easier for a lot of people. Okay, so with some of the fixes and improvements out of the way, it's time to move up to the new features. This is the exciting stuff. So first on the list, the MAME full set importer that's built into LaunchBox, that in my opinion is one of the best ways to get MAME up and running, is now MAME version agnostic. In the past, you had to have the latest ROM set, the latest version of MAME. Now you can go back to older versions or just keep the version you have now and not worry about the importer breaking down the road. Because if you're into MAME, you know these sets can be quite large and it does take a little while to import everything. But now, even if you're on an older version or you just have an older version laying around, you can import it into LaunchBox with no issues at all. Because now, even with future updates to LaunchBox, the MAME importer will work with older versions. Next on the list, LaunchBox can now easily import your Amazon and Twitch games library. Both installed and uninstalled can be filtered from the import wizard. Now I will admit that I have used Twitch games in the past. I do have a subscription to Amazon Prime and every once in a while they'll throw a free gem here and there. It's not something that I usually have installed on all of my machines, but in the past I have been able to get a couple good free PC games. And I have set it up on this machine here just to show you the import process. So from within LaunchBox, if you're using Amazon or Twitch games, Amazon has its own launcher. You can head up to the menu, tools, import. And now we have a section right at the top for Amazon games. So we're just going to walk through this. It's just like importing any other game or ROM set. We're going to leave the platform as Windows. These are PC games. Choose next here. I do want to download some images. Set this up to force import duplicate games. For me, I'm going to leave this unchecked. I don't need doubles on here, so I'm going to choose next. Now we will need to sign into our Amazon Games account. I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. And here we are. So it's going to scan through and check all the games that I own with that Amazon Gaming. And a couple of these I do have already installed on this machine, and they're going to be pre-checked. These are the only ones I really want to import because they are installed and I can start them right up. But if you want to import everything, even stuff that's not installed, you can always check all. I'm just going to choose finish. Now it's going to scan through, download all the metadata and artwork for these Amazon games. Okay, so I only had three of those games installed on my machine and those are the only ones I wanted to import. We'll choose OK and now it's going to be listed in the Windows section. You could always separate these platforms if you want to but I leave it with Windows. These are just all of my PC games here. And now I have access to all of those Amazon games that I have installed, like Broforce. So I have Her Story, Hotline Miami 2, and Broforce from Amazon Gaming. And these are now imported into LaunchBox, and I can start them right from here and run my PC games. But like I mentioned, I don't use Amazon games a lot. I do check it every month or two months just to see if there's any cool free new games. But there's another new feature that's been implemented with LaunchBox 11.9 that I personally use almost on a daily basis. And that's the ability to import my Xbox and Microsoft Store games. And by Xbox games, I use Xbox Game Pass on PC and my Xbox, so we have access to a lot of free games that we can download and play on our PC or Xbox. 
Now, obviously, LaunchBox isn't available for an Xbox console, but with the Game Pass for PC, we can import those games. So I'll just give you a look at Game Pass. Over here are the games that I have pre-installed. Now with this method here, if you want to import your Xbox Game Pass games, you will have to have started the game at least one time. Now this method also works with Microsoft Store games. In the past, it was a real headache to get these imported in the launch box. I personally had to use a third-party application to do this, but now it's easier than ever to get your favorite games imported from the Microsoft Store or the new Game Pass app for PC. We're going to head back over to LaunchBox and we're going to do an import with our Game Pass games. So we'll go to Tools, Import, Xbox Microsoft Store games. So this will work from that Game Pass app or the Microsoft Store. We're just going to head through here. I'm going to leave my platform as Windows. I want to download as much as I can. I don't want to force importing duplicate games, but sometimes you may have to force a new login attempt, and I'm not going to do that right now because I've actually been testing this out and it's worked just fine without having to force a login, but you might have to do that if it fails the first time. So we'll choose next. We'll sign into our Xbox account here, and here it is. So it's already going to pre-check all the games I have pre-installed here. Got some Halo, some Cluster Truck, Microsoft Flight Simulator. Minecraft, I have that installed from the Microsoft Store. We have uh, New Super Lucky's Tale, Power Rangers Battle for the Grid, and I thought I had Forza installed, but I guess it might have been on a different machine. But either way, if you want to check all, you can. Check none. We're just going to check the installed ones here and finish. Same thing here. LaunchBox is now going to download all of the metadata and artwork for those games and import them into LaunchBox so we can start them directly from within this application. And now we have our Game Pass games and Microsoft Store games installed. We have Battletoads up here. Let's find something just to start it up. We'll go with Power Rangers Battle for the Grid. It's going to start it right up for us. And like I said, this is a Game Pass game. And I've personally been using Game Pass a lot. There's a lot of great stuff on there. I have it for PC and my Xbox. And I think it's just a really awesome way to get more PC games. Unfortunately, they do remove them every once in a while. Every month they'll add some, they'll remove some. But overall, I think it's pretty awesome that we're able to import them and start them from within LaunchBox. So yeah, I'm really excited about the new features built into LaunchBox 11.9 and hope you are too. And when it comes to importing PC games to LaunchBox, we now have a ton of platforms covered. Basically, all the major ones. We have Epic Games, GOG, Origin, Steam, you play Windows games, in case you installed anything from a disc or a USB drive. We now have Amazon and Twitch games, and Xbox Game Pass and Microsoft Store games. So we basically have all of the major PC game stores covered here. And the import process for all of this is really, really simple. So that's going to wrap it up for this video. We really appreciate you watching. If you want to read through that changelog, link is in the description. We hope you enjoyed LaunchBox 11.9. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for using LaunchBox.